Hello, this is Eric Anapaus, and welcome to my review of my second pair of Tropic Feel geyser shoes. So, to see what these are, these are the little, or whatever you want to call that. Uh, yeah, let's see what this is called. Lit, litly? Guy, so, the geyser litly. Pewter gray. And I have them in US men's size, 9.5. Though, I think I could have used a smaller size. So here's one thing I noticed from a couple of comments that the sizing is a bit big compared to what you see. So in my case, I can possibly fit at the smallest for normal shoes, like really to the extreme smallest, a nine. But as far as I've seen on the charts, I can get like size eight in men and then it goes to nine and a half. So I got nine and a half here. And I didn't notice the first day because the first day when I put them on, they were a bit snug around the ankles, so it's kind of hard to get them on. But yeah, these are fitting a bit big. So if, for instance, you are a size 10, I'd recommend going size 9.5 and, and maybe to 9 if size 10 on you, for instance, was a bit loose. So here are the shoes. And that's one of them. And the other one's all wrapped up. And here's the other. Right now they have cardboard in it. I have never used this, never tried these in gray. And these use the H dry technology. So where are mother ones? Right here. These are the great ones. I got it in this greenish color. And uh, we can see that they're starting to have a crease happening. So after a good full week, let's say if I say, um, I own this for more than a week, but let's say about five hours a day for one week, about 20 hours. We are starting to get a crease in the shoe right here, the material. I don't know if it'll break or anything. This material does feel fairly soft, but just something to know that you can get a bit of wear look to it. So if I were to be asked about Tropic Fill or this, the Tropic Fill Everyday Move, I find, are really nice for the material not looking worn, but the lighter colors can get an outer stain, and that makes it look not so great pretty quickly for those ones if you're getting a light color. And you may know as well that I'm getting the Renz Nomad sneakers. They're not expected to drive now till like November 1st. Those are waterproof breathable shoes. They're also known as coffee shoes. Renz, R-E-N-S, Nomad. N-O-M-A-D. Also, if you look up coffee sneakers on uh, Google, you will should be able to find them, actually. So I got those during a pre-funding campaign, just like I got this. So the other Rens Nomad I actually got on Kickstarter. And these ones I got on a pre-funding campaign with Tropic Feel. So why did I get these? Because I like waterproof products, and where I live, it rains a heck of a lot. So the difference is pretty darn small, as we can see. And I'll turn this around further. So the difference is probably literally half an inch higher with our other great ones versus that little type one. Not a huge difference. I'd like to have seen on a great one little bit higher tops just to prevent water from coming because they're waterproof right to that seam so that's nice if i had my water my feet in the water for a long time i could see eventually the seams might seep through a little bit because after i had my feet in the water in part one video which i'll leave a link below i think it was like for 15 seconds maybe 20. it felt like maybe after a war this little bit laughter uh, just after i did the video went outside that maybe the seams were getting slight amount of water through it because it could feel like felt kind of slightly wet. I'm not sure if it was uh, simply putting my feet in the water and some sort of water getting, but I think those seams might have been leaking just ever so slightly. So they're about as sweaty as a hiking shoe, which is not bad. And maybe just slightly sweatier than these. I do like these shoes. These are super comfortable, super lightweight, by the way. Those are not waterproof. Now, if you're wondering about other waterproof clothes, you might see Fiobach. They're water resistant. I wish that they would have called it water resistant because water can still get through that. And you'll be seeing that review, if not before this one. And uh, I also have another one, another brand coming from U Share Outdoor. I purchased with my own income. 
just like I purchased this with my own income, just like I purchased these with my own income. So yeah, I spend a ridiculous amount of money. Luckily I get them on sale often, but not on the U-Share Outdoor rain jacket, which has a waterproof rating. It's nice to have a breathability rating, waterproof rating, so you at least have an idea of what to expect. Now, Filebock, their cooling shirt, I really like their cooling shirt. It saved me at work. However, if you cover the cooling shirt with something else, it won't breathe as well. So the cooling shirt, how it works, which is not waterproof, is you wet it. And you, when you wet it, or if you sweat, it cools off the air outside and it works really effective for that purpose. I've been wearing these shoes for over half an hour and I find they're less sweaty, these particular ones, than the other ones. I think it has to do with the lower tops. And uh, temperature-wise, these are not bad, actually. I thought they'd be much worse. So those hiking shoes I show, it might even be less sweaty. So this is not bad at all. This is honestly not bad at all. If it was a hot day, maybe I'd really notice. But I do notice something already, which I'll have to show. I'll take this camera down. If you're finding these videos interesting in terms of materials, in terms of clothing, in terms of the waterproof shoes, cooling shirts, and different technologies, don't forget to subscribe to Not Bios to help this channel grow. And if I see these videos are doing good, I'll try more, right? You help me, I'll help you. So I've only been wearing this for about half an hour and we can already see a crease in the shoe. And another thing I noticed is that for me at least, around the hill here, it tends to rub a bit. It might be something to wear in, but these are of course our new shoes, but just right back here. So I've been wearing these shoes for like three hours, maybe even longer. We still can see of course that wrinkle in the shoe there. But these are clearly, clearly cooler than I expected. Clearly cooler than these great ones. So the smaller shoe, I guess that little bit different size does help a bit. And I've been wearing them inside, so this is almost the worst case scenario. My foot is a little bit sweaty, but I do have kind of hot feet as it is. So these are not bad. These are pretty much just as well as a running shoe. That is impressive. Now I'm also curious how my Renz Nomad is going to be because it has air vents in the shoe and it has vent holes on the bottom and out the back. You might wonder, well, how is it going to be waterproof? Well, the idea is if you put a cup upside down in water, is the water going to go in? No, that's the idea. The hole is down here. It's not going to go up in here unless you really slam your foot hard on purpose trying to get water inside. Now for padding, this shoe is similar to a Vessi shoe. I can't really tell much of a difference. Maybe slightly more comfortable. Maybe. The insole itself is not really that padded, but there again, just like the Vessis, there is a soft rubber insert inside. Now the one thing I did notice too, of course, is this can look quite messy after you go in the dirt for a while. As you can see on my other shoe that I reviewed in my earlier video that I've been wearing a while, been purposely wearing it, even though I might grab a different pair of shoes normally. But so far they're at least holding up with some wrinkles. Now if you have any questions, leave those in comments below. And hopefully I can answer your questions. I have no affiliation with Tropic Feel. I have no affiliation with Renz Nomad. I have no real affiliation with Filebock other than that they contacted me and sent me a cooling shirt. And I also bought a cooling shirt of my own. And they sent me a waterproof shirt. And I also bought one of my own so I could do different testing. Now the waterproof stainproof shirt itself from Filebock is fine if you just splash yourself for instance. And you can wash even the worst of stains as long as you kind of rinse it off right away. A white shirt's kind of take it to the extreme, but that's what they sent, and it does work until you hold water on yourself for long. So water resistant, not waterproof. It's all in the materials, not in chemicals with this particular product. This is Eric Anabaos. I hope you enjoyed my review, overview of the Tropic Fill Geyser shoes. Oh, and weight wise, these are pretty darn light. They feel like just like a runner that way. Would I use them for hiking? Maybe not, but the treads are okay, but they're not like aggressive like a real hiking shoe would be. Like, that's a hiking shoe. This is a tropic feel. A Vessi shoe is not a hiking shoe. And uh, you can see on the, the treads. 
Now, the Renz Nomad are considered active wear type shoes, like they show people running with them, so we'll see. Maybe those will be the magic bullet for waterproof shoes, but either way, there's all different choices. I like the Vessies in terms of them being a cloth material, and they don't look aged. They don't wrinkle. They don't wrinkle like this. This, however, is, at least in the lower ones, are impressively cool for what they are, temperature-wise and sweat-wise. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share as well and check my links below because sometimes I can, sometimes I can save you money like you can on Fireblock, especially those cooling shirts, which I'd recommend getting if you are hot and want something to cool you down. And this is actually quite comfortable, just that they're water resistant, not waterproof, which is a very big disappointment. And the lace is just insane. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.